thing you heard. They had some nuns sitting up in the bleachers. <laughs> they come running out of the bleachers. Stop the scrimmage, they're animals. Stop the scrimmage, they're animals. We weren't animals. We weren't animals at all. We did it the love and way. Now, I, I, before I read anything or say anything, I want you to look at Charlie. Every kid my age, we were, I'm not too much younger than Charlie, but growing up, we said, man, we want to be like Charlie Carpenter. We want big and strong and fast and good. Now you can see I didn't make it. <laughs> didn't make it by any means. Charlie Carpenter went to high school here from 1964 to 1968. You know, I've been in football all my life, except for a couple years. I didn't, I, I wasn't around football. And, uh, you know, of course, playing here at Loveland, I won in the Murray State and played collegiate ball. <coughs> I had two tryouts with uh, uh, professional football teams, didn't work out. Came back, got into coaching, high school football, around here in different places. Got into collegiate football again, and from there I went to a professional league. Spent 12 years there in professional league, and now I'm back coaching again. Uh, I've actually retired, but a good friend of mine that I've worked with in Canada called me, and he says, hey, uh, I'd like you to come and help me. So I'm working out at Bethany College out of Kansas now. And the good thing about that is I don't recruit, I don't do anything else. I go out and coach, I come home. And uh, so that's a pretty good uh, gig right there. There's a lot of tradition here. Boy, there's great, you know, the football program's great. We've got a great basketball program. We've got a baseball program. We've got a soccer program. Wrestling program's great around here. So the pride and the tradition, no matter what sport we have here, there's great tradition, great pride. And that says a lot about where you're from, and especially at Loveland. As I look and I said, well, where did the tradition start here at Loveland High School? Well, I think it started way back, probably 51, I believe, when Mr. Hirsch, he was the superintendent of Loveland City Schools, he hired a guy named Stan McCoy. And when he hired Stan McCoy, I knew, or I, and this is what I'm thinking, I, I knew Mr. Hirsch felt like he hired the right guy to build a program, to build a tradition. Because when he started, there wasn't any tradition here. There was teams, but no tradition. So he hired the right guy, and, and, Dad, and I call him Dad. You're going to hear me call him Coach. Yeah, you're going to hear me call him Stan, and you're going to hear me call him Dad. I was very fortunate. He was my father-in-law, and I love him with all my heart. And the guys that played for him loved him also. But you go back and look at that situation, when they hired him, and one time, talking to him all the time, having the opportunity, he always talked about, as you build a program, you've got to have a vision. You've got to have a vision of where you want to go. Well, again, he talked about all the time, he talked about athletics and academics go together. There's no difference. They have to work together. And then he says, and once you have that, you get school spirit. And then once you have that, you become, you have pride, school pride, and then it's pride in the community. So if you look at it, and I had the fortune, I watched the, this young football team, a great football team this year, watched them on the TV, and watching those kids play, and you watch, there's some really good athletes there, really good. And, but then, as I talked to some other people, they're really smart kids, they're real smart. So the, the athletics and the academics. Then you watch the game and they put shots on the stands and there's kids jumping up and down, cheering, just like it was at the basketball game. They were going crazy for the football team. And then community pride comes into that. And then when the pride all comes into it, you look at it and say, well, you look at all the signs that were posted all over the Loveland area. There were signs in, in the uh, windows of all the buildings in London about the road to Canton, we're going to win, all that. What a great thing. But, you know, Dad, that's what he talked about. He talked about having that to build a program. He says that's what you get. Once you get that, you get a chance to build a program and have great tradition. And we definitely have that now. So I really appreciate you listening to me talk about the Loveland Way and how the tradition really maybe got started a long, long time ago. Thank you very much.
Now we're cooking with gas. Yeah, we are. <laughs>